Hey guys, this is Ray with Shining Cards and Collectibles and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over some pickups, a PSA return, uh, some trades, as well as just dive right in here with the Rudy promo, which I didn't get to show in the last video. Uh, Rudy offered more kits to his patrons. I indulged in a few more and just wanted to show the Amazon Warriors promo that Rudy was giving away in his kits. This came with three booster boxes of Sorcery Beta, a pre-constructed deck kit, as well as a play mat. So I had already sold it by the last video was being made, but here now I can finally kind of show it off here for people who get it, getting a chance to see it. It's a cool card, very old school. Next we'll get into a uh, trade slash purchase I did with Ponga. Go check Ponga out on the Box Nostalgia podcast with Beersky. Awesome dudes. Thank you, Ponga. Hopefully I was able to make you a little more liquid. And I will certainly enjoy some of the product you gave me. Uh, Tag All-Stars. Uh, Fusion Strike Box. You may have heard of this. It sold out in Pokemon Center. Uh, there's that. He sold me... Some packs. We have a Tag Bolt, Double Blaze, Fairy Rising, Forgetting this one. I think it starts with a G. Miracle Twin, Sky Legend, and Full Metal Wall. This is going to kill me for forgetting what this is, but whatever. He also sold me some Champion's Path. Loose packs. He pulled these from collection boxes I purchased from him. Just wanted to have a little variety at the Collecticon in Orlando. And he was able to provide me with that variety. Uh, last but not least, he sold me quite a few of these sample packs. I like to have these at, the, at, at a, a, a con because they're nice to just have as like throw-ins. And I just throw a dollar on a pack anyhow and... Surprisingly, they do well. People like them. Also made a purchase of a Tokyo DX box, which comes with promos. As Dan said earlier in his video today that I was watching just dress Pikachu in clothes and it will sell. He's not wrong. Um, I just happened to see this box on eBay for a really good price. Um, I was actually talking to Pongo when, when we saw it and we were going over a few plays and um, yeah, he was like, yeah, you should probably get that. And I agreed. I believe the packs that come with this are uh, Forbidden Light uh, Japanese. What is it? SM6, I think. But yeah, that's equivalent to our Forbidden Light. So there's that. I'll throw that there. Well, I'll throw it up here. And last but not least, I've picked up a few of these. Um, just happened to see them at a Target. But as you saw in the last video, I like blisters or sleeved boosters. And uh, one piece is hot right now. I think I got about 10 of these from Target. I, I just thought, I mean, one, I mean, the, the art's just awesome. But yeah, can never have too much one piece right now. Next, we'll go into the PSA return. Uh, mind you, I have not opened this yet. I do know the grades, but I don't know the order, what everything's in. Let me pull away the packet of information that can give away and dox me. And we'll start just kind of going right into this one at a time. You guys can let me know how I did, because it's been about a week and a half since I actually looked at the grades. So we'll kind of... I'll be surprised again, if you will. So Jesse and James, 10. The Birds, 10. Shout out, Leonard. Oh, more to Birds. Boo, 9. Birds. Birds. Flame Boy. This is from the um, 
the Japanese collection box. Uh, man, classic collection. That Charizard is too, I probably, yeah, shouldn't have confused these two. This is the 25th. This is classic collection. No idea how they packed this. So, oh, look at that. We wouldn't have a PSA return without having some Gengar in it now, would we? This card is just fantastic from the V-Star Universe, the Mewtwo. More birds. More birds. Uh, PSA 9. Put over here. And, oh boy. Damn. Charizard Reshiram from Unbroken Bonds. PSA 9. There's a 10 Chari. I picked this up at a local card show, so this is cool to see that this was a 10. Picked this up in LA for a hundred bucks. I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm would I would guesstimate that a PSA five Charizard Besa is a hundred and eighty to two hundred dollars, and that's why it's graded um, because I picked it up for about ninety bucks I think in LA, and we grade base at Charizard. I'll even put it in the ten pile. wonder when Dan's going to start buying out these classic collections, by the way. Uh, that sucks that it's a 9. 10. Oh, more Gengar. More Gengar. More Gengar. Uh, that's great. I like Gengar. 9 for another classic collection. I guess the quality in the classic collection wasn't that good. I don't see why that would 9, but... um. There's no, okay. 10, uh, more Gengar. More Gengar. Have you ever told you guys to actually grade Gengar? I'm not sure if I've ever said it before, but some more modern 10s. Some cool cards. Sorry for the bump there. Gold Star, Umbreon, or Blackie. This card's actually, I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of 10s, but from Battle Region, this, the quality is not that great. And I have yet to find a lot of these. And I mean, once again, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot in a 10, but. The quality just isn't great in Battle Region, and specifically this card with the black borders and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of whitening. I have yet to... I haven't graded a lot of these in a 10 because the quality hasn't been that great. I even left back... I had another one raw that I just didn't send. So, interesting. It's just a cool card from Pokemon Go in Japanese. I like this full art. You too. And it always does well at shows. And... 25th. Now, somewhere in here, so here's an 04. Just want to. There it is. So, sequential. Oh, 001, 002, 003. There we go. I was off to, almost close to the, <laughs> the actual end numbers. For, I was too off. That's crazy. So here's a sequential set of 25th anniversary for you. I usually don't do that, but just thought it was fun to do. Another PSA 10. Jessica James, classic collection Venusaur Boy, 25th. And a classic collection Chari. And that is that box. Give me a second here for grabbing some more out of 
PSA box here. I had to open it up. Um, some of these are going to be very much a lot of the same. So I'll just show a few. If you watched this channel before, you know I like the stock on this card. If I remember right, there wasn't all 10s in here, though, which is a little bit crazy. But this card sometimes gets oddly graded from PSA. For a long time there, they were sending these cards back where you'd get like random fives and sixes on it and there wasn't a dense. It just, I think sometimes the hollow pattern on it make it looks, makes it look like there's dents in it and there's just not. Uh, it's one thing to get a, a six or something every once in a while, but people were getting full like PSA returns back when they graded like 30 or 40 of these and they were all like fives and sixes. So it was just strange that like, that's just, there's just no way that's the case. So there's an eight that'll not be in that slab very long. You knockers, let's see. Oh, no, this goes here. Some more Gengar. Here's a good one. Sabrina's Gengar Band. Uh, for you veterans out there, you probably know why this is banned, but I will explain why this is banned. There is a graveyard here in the background that you can see. They removed this from the, gyms, uh, the English gym set counterpart, and they said that children should not be seeing this kind of stuff, I guess. But there you go. Ben Gengar in a 10. I actually picked this up at Houston Collecticon from uh, one of the Vortex boys. Shout out Dan. Appreciate that. You two. More you two. Smart Detective Pikachu. That came from the pre order of the game for Switch. Shiny Noctowl in a PSA 3 in Japanese. Picked this up in LA. I mean, I, I'm just always gonna grab shinies. It's not in good shape whatsoever, but I'm gonna grade it. Put it in plastic. So these were the Gengars that I was trying to grade a 10 before when PSA damaged my cards. I pulled them from pack fresh from a buy e order. They sent them back as nines because they damaged the top right on each one. Well, I had to go back and get some vengeance and get some tens, and finally they came back as ten. Okay. Some more Nagabas. I like the stock to the moon. Here is an alt art aerodactyl from Lost Abyss. Sweet that I got the 10. Oh, okay. This card. Shout out Ponga again for the second time. Uh, this is one of his favorites. It's a good one, it's a great card. Birthday Pikachu. Right back to the Nagabas and sadly a nine and another 10. And um, a Blackie. And we're getting down to the last few here. Sorry, this is a little bit slower of a video, but I wanted to kind of show this fresh from the box, some nines and eights, can you guess the next card, oh, okay, this is the kind of stuff I've been just trying to, oh boy, recoup and regather my, uh, inventory a bit it's been depleted um 
and cards like this are a great way to get some pretty liquid trade cells going. So there you have it. That is the first PSA return in a long time. A lot of these Unaga's Buzz will probably just end up getting cracked and sold raw. And um, you can see the cases of 151 in the background. I've been picking up more Japanese sealed. It's extremely cheap right now. Uh, it's, I think, finally starting to get noticed um, that some of it's getting really cheap. I won't go into which sets at this point because I'm still picking it up. But um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, a comment. Appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.